Hello everybody, welcome back to Strategic Command. I'm Paradox Gamer playing and we are still battling it out in the Atlantic. As we can see we got a cruiser up here, a cruiser there, and two light cruisers. And then my intention is to finish the, uh, off these ships this turn. The weather is nice, so I should be able to set the one to pure naval tactical. Take out this light cruiser. And do some serious damage to this one. Yeah, I'll take it out completely. Nice. And then we have the Italian. Also naval tactical. So damage to that one. And we can attack it again. And that clears out all of that. And then we have that cruiser up there. Let's send... Um, do we have some subs? We do have subs. What else do we have here? We have battle cruiser. If I can just put a couple of units around it, that should be fine. Um, I guess the subs will be working. Yeah, I think we, need, we can use the Italian sub for that. Boom. And those are all the uh, ships that I can see. There is also a destroyer somewhere, but I don't know where it is. We got no more strikes. Let's have all of these. We do have a sub here that is out of supply, so we have to send that back. This sub here is in supply and looking good. The US Navy came from down here, let's just send them over here. I don't know, somewhere around here. Let's see, let's stay there and see if they can see anything. This one is also in supply. Let's send it out. We have the Italian battleship. Spend 132 points on it. Uh, we also have a destroyer here that cannot reinforce. Let me just zoom in again. Supply 1 in Saint Nasser. This one has mainly got its supply back. Let's reinforce it as well. Same goes with the cruiser here. The sub. And the sub. So move this destroyer up here. Oh, that's too far away. Okay, move it there. We also have a couple of harbors down here that we can use. Which one is Grave Need? This cruiser is down to seven. Let's bring it back to Bordeaux. Out here. Let's bring them all back to safer waters. They all need upgrades or reinforcements rather. There's also a submarine here. Let's send it over there. Um, <laughs> this one's in supply. Let's just keep it around here. Something like that. Now, can I... This garrison is still in entrenchment level 3.
that will take it down to level 2. And hopefully these guys can take it down to level 1. Yes, so they will soon be out of their entrenchments and then this core will be able to take them out. I forgot about this headquarter as well. Let me just put a pin in that. Cruiser still trying to get out of Gibraltar. Spanish cruiser. Bring this one over to Tangier so that nobody can land there. They keep attacking the Gibraltar garrison. Bring down these guys. And reinforce the headquarter back up to 10. Head towards Vigo. And reinforce the fighters as well. Middle East. So, let's bring down these guys to... Bring the infantry up there. Germans, now the Italians move up this way and then move up that way. Bring the armor up here and the headquarter as close as possible. That will just be up here. And we still have these guys going there and there. Do we have partisan issues down here? We do. Jerusalem is the most important one because that's where the supplies goes through. So we might need to put a garrison down there. Turkey is still not on my side. This submarine needs to reinforce. And let's see over here. 50th Army. Let's bomb it a little bit. enemy bombers right there but no fighters I should have done that first but now okay let's take it out and then bring the headquarter further down that means these guys up here are without a headquarter at this very moment we can reinforce the fighters back to eight and then we want to make Stalino Surrounded. How do we do that? Oh, we can get Russian Litrograd for free. Let's go in there and then come down this way. Take a shot at these guys. And bring in the armor. There we go. Guys, in Stalino has been surrounded, and these guys can just reinforce. These guys can reinforce, then move these guys forward, and these guys forward. So the Soviets might take that back unless I move over there. No, they can take it if they want to. Reinforce the fighters. Bulgarians, do nothing. Oh, they can they can uh, reinforce off of the off of the uh, Romanian headquarter. 
Let's bring the Bulgarians back. And the tanks forward. Like that. Right, so. Over here, Kharkov Pocket. Let's bomb Kako. Nothing happens. Right. The aircraft over here. And uh, we want to reinforce these fighters. No. Tanks. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Let's do a prepared attack on Kako. All around. Eventually the entrenchment goes down. And we can start working on it. Taking a lot of losses though. Okay, let's uh, work on this one. That was a pretty good shot. Let's see if the Slovakians can do it, yes. Let's bring in the paratroopers. And they can do a lot of damage. Hmm, but three is a little bit too much, I think. Let's move forward. Also with the headquarter. these guys. And then up here, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, six. Attach that one as well. We want to move around Belgorod. Belgorod. Heavies over there. This one there. And this one will reinforce. Okay. Now Kursk. Kursk is very well defended. Try and loosen that up a little bit. Yeah, that's better. Much better. And Kursk is mine. far up can we go? We can go to here. Well, let's just stay in Kursk for now. And now the Italians they're still working on these guys. I think we can get them this turn. Or well, at least some of them. another pocket here so let's move these guys down yeah I think we can finish them off we can start moving around or roll 
these guys will just reinforce. And then bring the headquarter on there. Right there. Those were the Italians, and the Oro will be the next uh, task. We have some garrisons that we need to move around a little bit. These guys will come in. There, and these guys will. Yeah, they'll move down here to secure Gomel. And then we have all these guys moving on Kaluga. Let's over there. Um, they just move forward. Not so much to think about. What about up here? We need, we need these partisans. We need this garrison up here to suppress partisans. Also, in Bolikuli Luki, do we have an extra up here? We got those two. Do I need more down here? Eventually, I will. Especially in here, actually. Yeah, I need to put one right there next to Kursk. I cannot operate these guys, why not? I don't know. Hmm. Now Moscow. Right. So, let's start up here. We, we want to get Rusev. Uh, to get Rusev start beating up on this one I guess let's move up this way now this is just forest up here and I would like to have the armies up there So we can move this one back and move this one down here. These guys down here. Uh, yeah. Okay. So Kaluga's in the way. Some armies. Let's just reinforce them. Also, these guys. Move the army up here. Move in here. And reinforce that one. Now let's upgrade the anti-tank. Level 3 and mobility. Spending a lot of points here. Now Leningrad. Let's see if we can get to it. Alright, I'm right next to Leningrad now. It's well entrenched, of course, but uh, still. Let's see if we can break these guys with the Air Force. Interceptors and escorts. Finnish escorts. Let's do that again with these guys. Again, interceptors and escorts. Okay. 
four damage. Ouch. up here, bring these guys over there. Can I reinforce now? Yep. I spent a lot of points on reinforcing this turn. We got two shells here, let's bomb these guys over here. With a little bit of luck, we could destroy them. No, they move out of the way. Yeah, I guess we can move up. I, I need a very lucky shot for that. No. Not happening. That means we can bring the headquarter up here. Move that there. And the fins will simply reinforce the fighters. No, they cannot. Move up here. Alright, so ready to attack next turn. I'll move this guy over there. And then they can alternate. And I gotta remember to reinforce up here. Now the extra headquarter that we have. It would be useful in Finland. Where else would we need one? We got plenty here now. One, two, three. Two Italians. One, two, three. Let's send it to Finland. Um, operate. to Copenhagen and then send it to Norway and then or well, we can operate it to Tallinn send it to Helsinki and get it up that way that's better what else was I thinking about I don't know but I got 500 points I think I'm gonna save them up again. We got the Bulgarians on the way. Um, I'm not in any immediate need of troops. I wonder why these guys cannot operate though. They must be in a in the wrong spot. Let's just move them forward then. They're on the road, but not on rail, that's why. Yeah, that's why. Alright, so I got 500 points that I'm gonna save up. And the Italians will not spend any points either. It's going all to the Navy. So let's hit the button. And disrupt supplies. Although I do think Baghdad will be good enough because it's a capital. So I think Baghdad will produce the, the supplies that I need. We'll see about that. Research breakthrough, anti tank weapons level 4, and anti aircraft level 1. 1200 points and 200. That's the German war machine for you, right there. Let's see what the AI can do about that.
Voronezh is next after Kursk. So far they're just moving around a little bit. I'm interested in the US Navy if we will see more of that. Garrisons go back to five. break through the fins. Don't think that will succeed. much happening with those bombardments. It's desperate times for the Soviets. Even the Katushas are failing them. And Leningrad is about to fall. That is major. Oh, there's a destroyer right there attack the sub and can still move away so it probably will fresh armies that hasn't even seen battle yet. Oh, they're trying to break through to the surrounded units, but no. Come on, give me some US Navy. shock army cannot replenish so it's uh, slowly withering itself down that's the problem about attacking garrisons like that I have the same problem in Ireland and a bit further to the south in Finland it's gonna be the same problem turns. Still plenty of defenses around Rostov. That's a major hub. Very, very important town. There's also a harbor. Oh, here we go. Enemy contact. That's a long range transport. And there's another one there. Perfect placement of the submarines. 
Okay, I guess I'll be hunting uh, around this area. Let's see if I can find more. And the destroyer ends just outside Liverpool. Okay, I'll send some kind of ship up there to take it out. Now replenishments. Norwegian Partisans in Oslo. Doesn't matter. At all. Weather is good. Maybe some storms. Now give me some intel. 8 core amphibious transport sunk. So that's a whole army core gone there. That's another carrier in North Atlantic. I probably won't get Moscow this summer, but in 44, we should be able to get it. Probably can take Leningrad this summer and then Moscow and Stalingrad next summer. That sounds like uh, it, it could happen. Oh, it's my turn. I don't know what I'm waiting for here. Uh, so I'm just talking. Anyway, uh, it's time to put in a break, and then I will be back with more <laughs> next time. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye-bye.